Please, students, today we're going to talk about Duran Duran Commandant. I don't know anyone, anyone, even one who don't like the song. And there is not just a random reaction. This is a review with serious research, okay? So, sit and behave well. I hope you did your home assignment and you was a good boy. No complaining. We're not going to have a deal. Remember the rules. We have a serious contract here. Sign the contract. Do your part because our deal is very serious, okay? Serious deal, I say. Serious. <laughs>
like a radio tune. I swear I can be full. Like before, I already can't sing. It's very low, unusually low. Jim, is it something real? Or the magic I'm feeding on? This line, for example, if we will expand it to a slower and she basically sing it on staccato. She always breaking, 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 doing pauses, but little bit easier to do it when it's expanded, but it's pretty high notes it's not comfortable no 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 not comfortable to sing this It's a bold, sexy, intriguing, mysterious in a way, very mature, but in the same time like first love. Because the feeling of the first love, one of the strongest feeling, basically meaning lead singer Simon called Commandant a song for anyone who is falling in love for the first time. What's so awesome about our first love? We are immature, we don't know yet, or not everybody knows yet what is the pain from the heartbreak that love can bite you. You don't have awareness of that fear yet, so you stay blind. You totally naked and open to another person. Of course, there is a different types of personality, but yet that very first love, very crazy emotions when you consumed by it, it's unique and very powerful. That's why it's uh, one of the most solid feelings, because I think that while you already like mature person, with all these knowledges about heartbreaks, you grew that fears covered in insecurities, masks, and you acting not mature anymore because you so afraid to get hurt. You like distance from the feeling. And this is not what mature. Mature, it's take a risk in a way. Try it and go for it. Even if this uh, fire gonna burn you and you come and done. <laughs> didn't have like impact for the genre, top charts, awards, but people not gonna turn off TV, it's, it's gonna play or the radio. 
people are gonna listen it it's very pleasant like consuming you this is very like mm, like warm chocolate on your body in that spa somebody massaging your feet so absolutely absolutely amazing and i remember that boy it wasn't my first love but it was my the craziest love really the craziest when you you know you understand that this is not a person with the future it's very temporary he uh, hurting you from multiple areas somehow makes you feel insecure but i was so driven by my feel but somehow I was so confident and I couldn't even accept, you know, imagine like you love somebody and you're like, I love you. The, no, Donald, I don't love you. And he like, no, but I love you. This is what matters. So this was, <laughs> this was my thing that I loved him. And I remember how I recorded that CD MP3 to listen in his car. Every song was new for him and every song just blew him away. He enjoyed it so much. And this was one of his favorite songs. It's like, oh yeah, he, this song is mwah. So I still have multiple millions of uh, stories with that song because <laughs> I did as a trick with the different people, yes. My classic trick to record as a nice music to the car of my boyfriend and the uh, chick chick. And they gonna remember. Because every time when they will listen to these songs, they will remember me. Remember. Don't forget. <laughs> I hope you're gonna share with me in the comments your feeling about the song and your experience. Any like cool stories behind the song? No? Okay. I just thought you're gonna share with me, but if you don't, my husband, my husband. Yes, uh, that song reminds me of my husband and all uh, our warm uh, nights together where we watched Netflix. <laughs> Arigato, спасибо, спасибо. Arigato.